guys for looking in again. This video is all about my Mark II Leonardo flyer. I've decided I need to lengthen the fuselage a bit and I'm still going to go with the V-tail. The wings, I've got big plans for those. Uh, but the whole redesign really. Uh, the motor won't be quite so uh, fancy. It's just going to be shoved on the front. <laughs> shoved. Uh, and, um, and we'll see how we get on. But the development progresses. So thanks for looking in and let's get on with it. I've got a lovely blank sheet of paper here, look. Look at that. And I'm going to draw it up. I'm going to measure it up, draw it up, and transfer it to light ply and cut it out on the old jigsaw. So there we go. At the moment, the fuselage length is 22, just to the front of the motor, to the, well, it's not actually. It's two foot to the elevators, to the propeller. 24 inches, 60 centimeters. I want to make it a little bit longer in the moment arm. I'm thinking maybe another, another couple of inches or an inch maybe. Let's go for an inch. I think so. Let's make it an, an inch longer, three centimeters roughly longer. And let's get on with the drawing. Let's start with a straight line. Let's go up there a bit, shall we? Let's just draw a straight line in pencil then I can rub it all out and start again and it's two up two down so we'll just go two up and two down two up and two down connect the dots like that and we got the start of a fuselage and I want a straight line like that. That would be the um, motor mount. I'm going to use a different motor, uh, and an out runner this time, not an in runner, and I'll bolt it straight to the front. Uh, oh, there's one, look. This is one that I got in the um, MyFOS kit. Well, kit, somebody had bolted it up already. So 1000 kV, 2212, that could sit on the front. Yogif, you'll have to wait for your plan because I haven't finished it yet. So that's going to be the 22 inch mark. That's the back and then the elevators hang out over the back of that again. So the tailplane is currently I wonder if I, I might make the tailplane a little bit bigger again because I've cut the area right down and it's less than 20%, just under five, five will do. So we'll bring that five inches and that will be the width of the tailplane. I'll just draw a line in there and we've got that for reference. About there. Okay, now, so there's our point so f1 so this is going to be a side view this is where if you're designing it from scratch you've just got to sort of eyeball it up and sketch it and all the rest of it but i'm now working on mark ii so this is um honing the design but i want to make the new one out of light ply like i say so this is fuselage side so that's where the wing is from the leading edge of the wing i'll put le there and TE there. That is the back of the fuselage, so where it can start tapering down from there. And that is the view of the fuselage, just the leading edge of the tailplane. This is going to stay square, and this wants to taper down to roughly a tailplane. The wing is going to sit, and they do a similar thing on the side as I did there. That is put down a little box for it to sit in, in this area. And then a hole in the correct place there. Had an idea about the hole as well. From this point back, it can taper back to here. I know uh, some of you like to follow along on my thinking processes. <laughs> Not the best process to follow along on, but still. Uh, yeah, so I want to put that up in a nice gentle upward sort of curve. Give it a bit of 
bit of shape. Eighth inch or three mil in from there. One, two, three, three mil in from there. And that will be straight down from there to there. This is where it's going to start to taper. This is F1. Go back a little bit, sir. Okay, that's the floor, fuselage floor. And then we're going to draw down from the leading edge of the tailplane. This is quite a critical. I've got to have a nice bendy line from there round and in to there and we're going to do that so, so that's our deck in so we'll cut that and cut two of those and see how it uh, starts to form up there we are one bit cut and that's the deck and two fuselage sides to go quite pleased with that in case you don't know how to transfer the shape onto wood. One of the easiest ways of doing it, and it's the way I've done for a long time, is just to use the pin method. And that is, you get a pin, and you just put a pinhole, At the salient points of the I've got a slight curve on this haven't I so I'll just the more this is as I'm pushing into ply I've got to push a little bit harder might put a couple there that just for good measure very important by the way to use a pin with a sealed top on it not a glass headed pin the glass headed pins can break it's never happened to me uh, but they can break and it ends up going through your finger. I'm just going to connect these dots up and this is a curve so I'm just going to move the rule around a little bit as I go up. Okay, so I'm going to go and cut that one on the jigsaw and trace around it and cut another one and then we'll have our two sides and we can look at gluing. Okay, there we are guys, two fuselage sides. Now, I'm going to think about joining the sides. I've got to draw a center line down the middle. But then I have to bend that side to go around in there like that, which it will go. Okay, so the plywood it's not light ply and I think it shows um, I glued it together with epoxy as well uh, it weighs 4.6 ounces or just over four and a half ounces which is you know pretty heavy um, I did think actually it'd be fun to put a rounded bit on the front so as I could put the motor sort of behind a roundy bit but I didn't so anyway I've made another balsa wood one out of balsa this time, reasonably hard 1 8 balsa, same thickness. I put a rounded bit on the front so the motor can hide in there a little bit. Uh, so that one's 4.6 ounces, this is 0.95, just under the one ounce. <laughs> so it's four and a half times heavier. Exactly the same dimensions, except it's got a little bit of extra balsa on the front. So I'm going to go with this one, of course. This one suddenly it feels like a baseball. Hmm. I've glued that one together. That's drying. So we'll glue this one together. And then that can dry too. Just a bit of white glue on this. I'm redesigning the wing. Uh, it's not going to be carbon uh, and kite-like construction. I'm going to have a go at a balsa wood wing. It's exactly the same uh, dimensions. I've just drawn around it basically. 
I'm going to have half inch leading edge laminated. Uh, trailing edge will be half inch, uh, one eighth balsa. Uh, if it's hard enough, I'll leave it as it is. It probably will be. I'm going to have uh, a pin at the back, similar to the pin at the front on the original wing. I'm going to have three dirty great wing ribs. That would be fun. Uh, I might give them an aerofoil shape and then the whole lot can be covered top and bottom with um, it look great in a sort of a clear film, not clear, coloured clear, you know. I've also drawn in a main spar, which should be quarter inch square. Uh, I might put a diagonal in here and there. I'll see how bendy it all is when it's constructed. So I'm going to go and get me one eighth sheet. I'm going to have to put some joins here as well. Obviously, I can't have grain, short piece of grain. Um, if I cut it out of one sheet, I'm going to have a very short pieces of grain here, which is going to be a weak point. So it will be cut, spliced. The original leading edge I did in four, four pieces. I might do this one in three if I can get away with it. And uh, so let's go and cut some balsa.